Hi guys, today we're going to learn a little bit about pixel art. So up here I just typed in, went to Google, typed in pixelart.com and it took me to their website. This background changes so you may not have this exact background but it is pixelart.com. Tells you right there. You're going to click on start drawing. In order for you to be able to use a lot of the, um, so this one is free. I didn't create an account. I don't think you guys should be creating accounts without asking your parents. If you create an account, obviously there's a lot more things you can do. But for the purpose of this, I'm not going to create an account. So you can see how it works without creating an account. So I'm just going to click on settings and I am going to click on right here where it's a set by. I'm going to click on Slinky 16 only because it's a good size drawing tool. I like it. I've already been playing with this a little bit, so I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go back and click on New and start new drawing, okay? So this is your blank canvas. Here are your tools. If you just hold your cursor over it, it tells you what it is. Pencil, eraser, brush, so on and so on and so on. Here's a stamp tool. Right here is your background layer, whatever is going to be in the background. And then layers is going to be how you build on top of that, like making a sandwich. So you can create a drawing. You can choose to do it all in one layer and not have any more layers. However, if you make a mistake or you want to move stuff around, it's easier if you have it in different layers. So I'm going to teach you how to do that real quickly. Um, options. You know, I really haven't really played with that, so I'm not even going to um touch that but layers of course is what i just said and then tools your tools are uh, this one here which pixel perfect clean strokes while freehand drawing and then right here and i choose that because it it really does make a difference with your lines so i'm going to click on that um here are your colors i'm not going to mess with that and then i'm going to go back to layers because i always want to see what my layers are so i'm going to start with a pencil I'm going to click here. The color that I'm choosing is black because I want to start with that drawing first. And the first thing I'm going to do is, this is Christmas themed, right? So I think I am going to make, I'm going to drop a sled right here. So working off my memory, see if I know what a sled looks like or if I remember what it looks like. Um, let me see if it works. Ooh, that looks like a chili pepper, but we'll make it work. Okay. Nope, don't like it. Gonna try again. And the good thing is you can undo. You see how I did it? So I'm gonna try again. Let me see if I can't just make it a little bigger. Go like this. Go like this. And right here. And I think that kind of looks like a sled. So then I'm going to make it red. So I'm going to choose the color red. Just to color it in, I'm going to click on the paint bucket. It says bucket tool. And then I just click in the center and it turns it red for me. And now that I have it there like that, I'm going to add some designs to it. So I'm going to go back to the pencil tool. And I want the designs on it to be green. I'm going to click on green. I'm just going to come back here and maybe just a line, just a little border of green, just to give it some color. Maybe some more little lines. Make it look like leaves. Miss um, Garcia can't draw with her finger on the mouse pad, but um, if you do have a stylus and you have the kind of computer that you can use as a tablet, I would use that. Um, otherwise, do it like I'm doing it. It's going to take forever, but there you go. So there's my sled. Now I'm going to add a ground layer. So I'm going to go here where it says plus. It says add a layer. I'm add a layer. And there's my layer. I'm going to name my layer because I don't want to get confused. I like to work in layers. So I'm going to click on the little pencil that says rename layer. Now I'm going to call it ground. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to add a ground layer. Try to make it brown. Let's keep it simple. Um, I'm going to use a brush tool because it covers more area. And I'm going to go, okay, I want a, a brown 
Looks pretty ugly, but that's what I want, a brown layer, okay? So here's my brown layer. Now I'm gonna add a pine tree to it. So I had seen a stamp already and rather than trying it, I'm gonna add the tree. So I'm gonna put a plus sign I'm going to edit again. So every time I add something, I'm adding a layer. I'm going to put three. I'm going to click OK. Stamp. This is the easiest part of this. Here's the stamps. Um, look at all the choices you have to add to your drawing. So here's my pine tree. You can also just search the stamps. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it to, I don't know, here. And then maybe I'll add another one. Let's see. Maybe up here. Okay. And I think I like it like that. Then I'm going to draw on the background some more. And I say draw because I cannot make these bigger or smaller unless it's one of those things where you have to create the account. Otherwise, you cannot make them bigger or smaller. I refuse to create the account, so I'm going to get a pencil. I'm going to match the color of this tree. See this little color picker tool right here? I'm going to click on the color picker tool. I'm going to click on the tree. And I don't know that I can really see that tree, so I'm going to hit Control Plus. See if I can't make it bigger. I can't, but I click on the navigation zoom tool. No, doesn't let me do it. Okay, never mind. Okay, a little frustrating, but I can learn to live with it. Um, color picker tool. I'm gonna pick the color, mm. and this is the color that it is right here. So then I'm gonna grab my pencil tool. I'm gonna start drawing here. And I'm gonna add my tree. And I'm gonna make it nice and tall because I want it to be the tree in the forefront. And yeah, it just looks like a bunch of squiggles, right? That's okay because you're just gonna keep adding to it. This is my base color. I figure I'm just gonna go all the way down. It's gonna frame my picture, right? This is my base color. Then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go black and I'm gonna go in the center a little darker because it's thicker in the middle more branches it's going to get darker in here in the middle and then i might add a third color something close to the color that i started with but a little lighter so i'm gonna go back to the color that i started with which is here and it's right here in this one then i'm going to click on it and maybe grab it and move it up See how it's making it lighter? So I'm gonna go, okay, I like that color. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna add that color here to maybe the edges. Let's see. Sorry, it changed it. Okay, one more time. Move it up, select color, go to my pencil and add it here. And I'm gonna cover some more of that white. I think I made it too light. That's okay. Come back and darken it if I need to, which I, it looks like I'm gonna need to. So I'm gonna darken it again. And yes, it takes time. You're gonna keep playing with it until you, and see how I'm just drawing over it? Just adding more and adding more and adding more. Okay, so there's one tree. I'm probably going to drop another little tree right here, and I'm just going to squiggle shape the tree because trees are not perfect. It looks like a little bunny rabbit. Okay. I might add another tree, like, I don't know, back here. But let me pick another color. Like back here, add another one. Too close to that one. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now, okay, in the interest of saving time. I'm going to add the, the background color, right, because I don't want it to, to look white. I don't want it to stay white. So I'm going to add another layer, and I'm going to title it the sky. 
So edit, I click the plus sign, click the rename layer, call it sky, click OK. I'm going to pick um like maybe a bluish purplish it's a little too dark this is a color right here it's a little too purple right there but it's a little too dark maybe right there and i'm gonna go grab the paint bucket and drop it in there and it's gonna turn it all like that that's because it's sitting on top of all these other layers so i'm just gonna grab this arrow and go further down, further down, further down, further down. So it's the bottom la layer. Remember, it's like creating a sandwich. This would be the bottom bread. And if it's sitting on top of everything, well, that's not going to work. So you're, unless it's the top layer, right? This is the bottom layer. So I'm moving it down all the way. So here it is. So now I have a nice dark blue sky and I have some trees. Um, I am going to now add a moon. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add another layer. So I'm going to go to... Layers, layers, layers. Hmm, I don't see my plus sign anymore. Hmm. Nope. Tools, options, layers. Okay. Add another layer. I'm going to title my layer Moon. Then you see the circle tool right here? I'm going to click on that, but I'm going to make this white because I want the moon to be white. I'm going to grab the paint bucket, drop it in there. And there's my moon. I'm going to drop Santa Claus in here. So I'm going to grab the stamp tool. I'm going to search Santa. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Santa Claus. Why was there an error fetching the stamps? I just had it earlier. Um, there is a Santa stamp, I know, because I just used it. Okay, well, I'm going to create a new layer. Maybe that'll help. I'm back to not finding my plus. There it is. Add layer. Title it Santa. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the stamp. Find. Popular. New. Load more. I'm not sure why it's not loading stamps now. Okay, well, there was a Santa stamp. I would have just dropped it in that layer. But this is pretty much all of it. So let's say I'm done with it. Once I'm done with it, I'm going to click on the Windows. I'm going to tap on the S, and it's going to bring up Snip and Sketch. I'm going to click on New. I'm going to select my picture. I'm going to save it. I'm going to give it a title, put it on my desktop, and I'm going to click Save. And then I have it on my desktop so I can insert it onto my notebook when I'm done with that. And that is how you use pixel art. If there's any questions, please don't forget to show up to um, the hours that we schedule for you. Just show up, ask me questions. For the most part, you're just going to play with it, learn how to use it. If your parents give you permission to create an account, you can animate it and you can do anything else you want with it. Um, at that point, it's up to you and your parents. Otherwise, the free version is perfectly fine. All right. Thank you, guys.